Welcome back to Nini's Planet. How are you guys doing? What's Gucci? What's Lady? What's poppin' ten? In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a couple of tips and tricks on how to amplify your game, make it more fun, make it more aesthetically pleasing, and just how to make your game come to life. So I have four big tips and I also have sub tips underneath each tip to help you guys get a little more of an in-depth understanding of what I mean by these tips. So my first tip is about Sims like the sims itself i've seen a lot of people say they aren't really great at making sims they don't really have like their own signature way of making sims i have a couple of sub tips to help y'all with that so the first one that i have to start off with is you have to start randomizing your sims features like i cannot stress this enough i would just have a base sim and i would just like drag their features all over the place like go into detail edit mode and i would just move my sims features around like that which there is nothing wrong with that but i will say doing that will kind of like mold you into making a sim that looks the same all the time without you even realizing it so that was my issue i really didn't diversify my sims features using that little dice up top it is so crucial when it comes to making sims like and i have some recommended cc that is linked down below that will basically help you diversify the look of your sims so now, number two is pinterest i will say pinterest probably twice in this video because pinterest has become my best friend when it comes to the sims 4. now this is for my people who don't really know what to come up with when it comes to making your sims like if you need a little bit of inspiration you can literally go on pinterest and look up different fashion styles different makeup looks different backgrounds and diversities to give you inspiration on how you want to make your sims yeah it gives you different aesthetics for how how you want your sims to look the third thing that i will say i cannot just ooh, please accessorize when it comes to making your sims okay and i don't just mean necklace earrings nails and that's it no go all out like if you can add some purses add some uh scarves some hats belts jackets like I, let me show y'all something real quick okay so this is how i used to make my sims plain jane no piercings big hoop looking earrings plain necklaces r no rings just nails a dress tattoos heels and that's it like i would be so plain when it comes to making my sims and i know some of y'all are probably like nini your sims back then are cute too like don't you know y'all there's there's nothing wrong with elevating and growing stepping out of your comfort zone okay there's absolutely nothing wrong with that especially when it comes to the shapes like i i used to bbo down my sims you see like yeah, no, this is what my Sims used to look like. And this is how I dress my Sims now. Like I use way more accessories, jackets, piercings, glasses. Like I really try to like utilize accessories as, as much as possible. I'm even starting to dabble into being a mixed girly when it comes to Max's match and alpha. Like... <laughs> Y'all ain't nothing wrong with Max's match, okay? Like, this is also another sim that I am talking about right here. Like, use these hats, use these piercings, use nails, stockings. This is a sim that I just made today just out of, like, boredom. I was like, I just want to make a sim. And look at, do y'all see the growth? Do you see the growth of my sim? <laughs> <laughs> yes, some of them may still have the BBL bodies and everything, but we are really 
trying to diversify how our sims look over here i would have added a purse for her to have like right here like holding but it was clashing with the whole outfit but y'all see what i mean when it comes to your sims like accessorize 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 i cannot stress this enough so all four of these sims i will be putting them up for download on my patreon so make sure you guys go check them out if you guys want them so the last tip that i have when it comes to your sims is to make over your townies like if you're playing in game and y'all see them plain jane ugly ass townies make your townies over or if you are lazy and you don't feel like making all your townies over i get it i get it i am also a lazy girly i have two options for you guys to do you can do them both or you can do one or the other the first option that i have is to generate your gallery sims into your game that is something that i've done that's why sometimes in my lps y'all may have seen sims from previous lps that may just be popping up out of nowhere that is because i have i have generated my gallery sims to be put into my regular world if you want that i will leave a link to that video in the description box so y'all can do the same and the second option that i have is to download other people's sims that way you don't have to do all of this work of making sims and it takes ages hours days months years so like no you can get some sims off of tumblr just type in like sim dump you can download my sims if you want you can download other people's sims like just download sims if you are too lazy to remake your townies over i get it the next section that i'm going to be talking about is your g shade basically like your lighting your in-game lighting and your shaders for your game because this is a really 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 important part for me and it really just changes the whole vibe of my game so if you've always asked the question oh my god like how does your game look so pretty like the colors are different from my game my game is like bland and da 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 the answer is normally G shade or reshade, whichever one you prefer. I still have G shade downloaded because I don't know, it just works better for me. I really like G shade. Reshade was really giving me a lot of problems when it came to the install. So I don't know what that was about. So basically how I got my game to look like how this looks, I downloaded a G shade preset called chocolate. This chocolate G shade preset that i downloaded it did not come like this it did not come like this i kind of just tweaked it since i tweaked this one i do have my own g shade preset and i renamed it as soft life because i mean does it not give that like <laughs> I also have that on my Patreon. That is free. I will leave a link to that in the description box for y'all so y'all can go ahead and download that for all my people who's been asking, how do you get your game to look like this? Your game is so pretty. I literally made my own preset. Like this is the preset that you're gonna get in your game. So I will forever leave that link in my description box now. So actually there's a second part of this tip that I want to talk about and it is your in-game lighting. I was kind of hesitant towards downloading this because it's so many little steps that you have to take and if you make one wrong step you might fuck up your game so it it, it took me a while to get comfortable with the idea of downloading this mod but i finally did it i did it correctly do y'all see the the lighting coming through the window this mod is called the sun blind mod or softer haze mod basically it changes how your game looks like the end game lighting basically this is what it looks like and i'm going to three times speed this so y'all could see it just really gives your game amazing in-game lighting especially when it comes to like the weather and everything like it really plays a part when it comes to that way more realistic oh my sis got eight grand from her youtube check i don't know look how lively this looks it's so bright and pretty and the sun is out it's shining the shadows are sh oh the shadows are shadowing she is missing her torso but she is still living life and i love that for her and everybody my game is just 
interesting but it just looks lively and i love it but that is it for the second tip now let's move on to the third now for the third tip that i have for you guys this tip goes towards your builds in your game like where your sims are living where your sims will go to interact with things if you are more on the realistic side when it comes to your builds i recommend downloading from creators like sierra simmer bean builds jasmine raditz etc for example when it comes to sierra the simmer you have places like this IMAX theater, then you have Beverly Hills Plaza, which is a luxury mall right here. It just has all of the stores that you would see in a luxury mall like Dior, Chanel, this gym, Fitbox gym. Look how amazing this looks, y'all. Like. And then of course you got the houses and the apartments. This apartment was built by J Renee Gaming. So this is what this looks like. This is really on the realistic side of things. That is basically what I mean when it comes to the realistic builds. Like you can get really creative with things. If you're not as realistic or if you don't really see yourself downloading realistic builds like an IMAX theater or like a Longhorn Steakhouse, then there are still a bunch of good builds that you can download without all of the CC and all of the realisticness. See, I'm more on the realistic side, so I don't really have too much going on when it comes to my like non-realistic builds. But of course there is builds like this where there's pool bars. If you see a lot in a world like for example stargazer lounge and you see like oh it has potential but you don't like how it looks you can go on the gallery and type in stargazer lounge and you can find like renovated builds of the lots that you like and just replace them if you don't want to go the realistic route and you're more so you don't want to do too much when it comes to cc you could go this route now lastly this is the last tip that i'm going to be showing you guys i'm not saving this so i'm just gonna let jay liana walk around and do her thing this tip is basically towards your gameplay this is where you will start to get extremely creative with your gameplay and <laughs> how cute so basically you can have custom holidays and when i say custom holidays i mean holidays that you create in your game like for example it's summer in this save right now so we are about to get into the the fun shit for example right here this holiday i have juneteenth and right here i have pride festival right here is the fourth of july and then right here is a summer trip so i'm going to make my sim go on a summer vacation and then this is the last day of summer get very creative when it comes to your game like add some random things like it don't even have to just be holidays honestly and this is where certain mods come in you can have routines it will be disguised as a holiday like for example let's let's go in here let's have her have a self-care day tomorrow self-care day we're just gonna choose this one with the glasses and far as traditions i have a plethora Thora of custom traditions these are all from sims with shan sims with shan i will leave her link in the description box down below so you guys can download these custom traditions so if i want her to have a self-care day i want her to take like relaxing baths i want her to do a digital detox take a step away from technology and connect with your family and friends i want her to say words of affirmation to herself workout recovery day oh this could be her workout recovery day as self-care it says embrace the art of rejuvenation with workout recovery day where your sim dedicates time to rest recharge and engage in restorative activities ensuring their body and mind is ready for the next fitness adventure get a massage take a bath or simply meditate to recharge so yeah this works perfectly with their self-care day anything that you feel like 
is perfect for cleaning, anything that you feel like is perfect for your Sims self-care day. So make sure you guys go ahead and get these. They will definitely change your game and actually give you and your Sims something to look forward to. Also, I will say this, um, definitely have random events as well. Definitely plan random events just because, you know, I have a couple of custom events. Um, I used to have the Memorial Events mod by Kawhi Stacy, but I don't no longer have that, so that's unfortunate. But I do have some events by Kiara Sims 4. There is speed dating, game time, so you can spend a day or night playing games with your family or friends, bowling parties, Netflix and chill. I'm not even gonna click this one, but y'all read it. Couples anniversaries. So if you've had a couple in your game who's been together for a long time, you can plan their anniversary with the holiday and you can put an event, oh my God. You can have a girls night out, a slumber party, a double date, a hot tub party, a family reunion. I think this is from For Rent, actually. I don't know. Sneaky Link. Mm hmm. Hook up. Mm hmm. Student Welcome Day. I used this event for uh, my Discovery University LP. Camping, movie nights, house party, dance parties. And yeah majority of those events are by Kiara Sims 4, maybe Mother Summer and CC Sims, but yeah, I'll leave all the links to the creators in my description box so you guys can get a gist of that. The very last thing that I want to talk about, you should definitely get creative when it comes to the bills that you put down in your game. So this is kind of meshing tip three and four together. So let me show y'all real quick what I mean. So I am here at the Beverly Hills Plaza in Del Sol Valley. This build that I was telling you about earlier from Sierra to Simmer. I came here because I wanted to be specific about what I'm about to say because I didn't want to just not show y'all visually. Try to come up with some creative scenarios to use your builds for. Um, I had Jayliana come here to the mall. I made her come into these stores and I made her shop because I wanted her to like reward herself basically. I had someone else buy this mall and I made a lot of these items purchasable so that Jayliana could come here and purchase items and store them in her house and everything. So yeah, that's what I mean when you have to really get specific and very creative with your builds. So to make things even more realistic, um, I did mark the prices up 100% because this is literally the exact price of a Birkin bag and that is so crazy that it's so on point like that. Definitely get creative with your scenarios in your game to make things more fun and aesthetically pleasing and realistic if you want to go that route. That is it for this video. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. I hope you guys apply these things to your game and hopefully this will really amplify your gameplay and just how things will work in your sim world. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on my post notifications so that way you won't miss a single video in the near future she big balling so i'm gonna have her buy two birkin bags just because make sure you guys follow me on my socials everything will be linked in the description box down below all of the links that i have mentioned in this video everything will be linked for you guys convenience check out my patreon for the g shade and she just left check out my patreon for my g shade preset and my sims that i just put up up for download and everything and i will see y'all in my next video bye